Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss a very small and simple concept that is power series. Power series is basically a series. So let me write its definition on the board. A series. So it is a series, so obviously I should write in a form of summation n running from 0 to infinity cn. cn is a constant, right? x, uh, x minus alpha raised to n. So that bracket has power n. So that's why we call it as a power series. So x, if you expand this summation, let us see what will happen. Initially, I will put n is equal to 0. So c0 we will have and bracket is to 0 is 1. If I put n is equal to 1 c1 x minus alpha bracket as power 1 plus c2 x minus alpha square plus c3 x minus alpha cube and so on. So as you can see here that bracket has some power and it is increasing. Okay. So that, that's why we call it as a power series is a power series. It is a power series around alpha. So it's a power series around alpha since we have x minus alpha raised to n and cns are called coefficients. Okay. So cns are called coefficients. Coefficients. Okay. So see if our alpha is 0. So let us see what will we have the series. See if our alpha is 0 that series will look like this. So n running from 0 to infinity right cn alpha is 0 that means simply we will have x raised to n. So this is called a power series around 0 is a power series around 0. Okay, so it's a power series around 0. So let us discuss few examples. So summation, okay, n running from 0 to infinity, n square x raised to n. So you can easily see this is a power series around 0 since we have, we have that series in this form and cn is equal to n square coefficient is n square. So this is a power series with cn n square. Okay, let us discuss one more example. Summation n running from 0 to infinity x raised to n upon n factorial. So will you guess what is cn here? x raised to n is as it is, right? So our cn is 1 by n factorial. Let us discuss one more summation n running from 0 to infinity n cube x minus alpha 1 raised to n. So you can easily see this is a power series around 1 since we have this bracket x minus alpha. If you compare with this one value of alpha is 1. So that's why it's a power series around 1. And what is our cn? cn is n cube. Okay, so these are examples. So let us talk about when we see the power series is convergent and where we say it is divergent. So for particular value of x, suppose x is equal to 2 or x is equal to some point general point x1. If I take x1 here and if the value of that sum is finite, then we say the power series is convergent for that particular value x1. And if you get the sum is infinite, then we say the series is power series is divergent. Okay. In next coming videos, we are going to discuss few examples of that. Okay. So just make a screenshot of it and then we will stop. Thank you. See you.